portrait photography and you want to do it fast. Today, I'm going to show you five tips that will instantly improve your photography skill. I guarantee you, after you finish this video, you will get better photos on your next photo shoot. Okay, let's jump in. Tip number one, pick a clean background. As a photographer, your number one enemy is distraction. A messy background will make your photo look lack of clarity, lack of focus, or even worse, confuse your viewer. So how can we make your background clean? There are many ways. For example, you can point your camera up to use the sky as a background. Or you can point your camera down, use the ground as the background, as long as it looks clean. Or you can go to a sandy beach, use the sand as a background. Or you can simply just shoot on a foggy day. The possibility is endless. So go out there, look for a clean background. I guarantee you, your photo will look a lot better. Number two, photograph your subject from at least two different angles. So I run uh, many workshops, like I can't remember how many times I had to remind, uh, remind photographers, hey, you gotta try a different angle because people just seem to standing at the same spot of keep clicking like it's not going to give you much variety people always tend to shoot from certain angle from certain distance and then that's really something you should change by simply just change from different angle usually it will give you a completely different photo and sometimes you'll be quite surprised okay you can see for this photo uh i just uh my first shots i just get the model just standing underneath uh airplane i got one shot and then what i did next I just simply turn to the other side of the airplane and I got this shot. So you can see the photo is completely different. And then what I did is I changed my composition. I just changed to the portrait orientation and then move a little bit further away and include the propeller at the foreground. And then I got another shot. So all three photos this is basically just like pretty much she's standing uh, pretty much within that little area underneath the airplane. and. The, the only change is like, I just have to shoot from a different uh, angle. The lighting is not even changed. The light is just like a, exactly the same position. Okay, so the second example. So I took a photo of this model just under uh, this like a vintage house. And then this is a one shot. And then what I did is I walk out of the house. I shoot from the other side, a little bit further away from her. And then you can see, so two photos, she's standing exactly the same spot. I didn't do any, uh, well, this is natural light, so there's a, no change in terms of lighting or anything. So I just shoot from two different angles. You can see you can get completely different look by just simply changing your shooting angles. This is a great way to get multiple looks out of a single photo shoot and also a very, very good way to improve your photography. Tip number three, use the lighting to separate your subject from the background. So this is a great way to make your subject more stand out to better show the focus of your photo. You can use either your flash or you just simply use uh, available light. Okay, let's take a look at some examples. Okay, you can see this one. What I did, I just add like a, a rim light on the camera live around 11 o'clock position and just use the lighting to separate her from the background. You can see the background is very busy and so we use the lighting to separate her from, away from the background is a great way to make your photo more focused. This photo is the same thing. So I basically just use the reflection from the water working in the rim light to separate her from the background. So this, uh, the rim light over, over her body is a really good way to show a 3D dimension also just to make her more stand out. Same thing, this photo just use the, the sunlight as a the rim light to separate her from the dark background. This technique works really well against dark background. So next time when you shoot outdoor, or when you're shooting against dark background, try to find a way that you can either use a natural light or your flash to separate your subject from the background. It's a great way to make your subject stand out. It will increase the clarity of your photo as well. Tip number four, add movement. Photography is still photo, but would it be cool if we can add sense of movement into our photography? I bet your photo is going to look a lot better. So how can we do that? It's very simple. Instead of letting your model standing there or holding a pose for you to take a picture, you simply get them to do something. It could be very simple. They can just 
flip their hair or do a walk or turn around or it could be as simple as just to let the wind to do the magic remember photography shouldn't be like your subject holding a pose you're taking a picture it should be your subject doing something and you capture the moment if you capture the right moment you got a killer shot tip number five include elements that help to create a sense of depth photography is pretty much 2d media it's a 2d image but if you can create a sense of a 3d that really gonna make your photo a lot more interesting and there's many ways to do that you can simply include something in the foreground or include something in the background or even better you include something stretching from the foreground all the way to the background it will maximum increase the sense of depth okay so I said uh, five tips actually there's a bonus tip the last tip is you combine these tips together you can use a clean background and add movement or you can add a movement to your picture at the meantime include some element in the foreground to increase the sense of depth or you can add something in the foreground to create the sense of depth at the meantime use lighting to separate your subject from the background okay six tips for you so you can use on your next photo shoot so what are you gonna do next well you gotta practice try to apply as many of these tips as possible on your next photo shoot and if you're running into any issue come back to this video and leave a comment i'll try to help you as much as i can thank you for watching